Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a one sample sign test using R, specifically R Studio. I'll show you how it can be done uh, using base only and also with some packages. Um, most often though this test is actually um, not used and instead a one sample will coxon test is actually used but uh, if you're interested in that one check out my video on that specific test. But here goes for the one simple sign test. I do need some data to show you how this might actually work. And I'll be using uh, some SPSS data. So I need a package called foreign. So I'm going to load that in because I already actually have it installed. Control enter actually runs this line of code. And then the data that I'll be using is uh, this whole thing there. And I'm going to store that under my data. Now, this file actually contains quite a lot of variables. Uh, as you can see up here, it's uh, 1974 observations of 706 variables. And I actually only need one, so I'm going to call that my Likert. And I'm going to remove any missing values from it, and it's about the accounting being scientific or not. That's the variable. Now, many procedures actually will require that everything in here has to be uh, numeric, so instead of factors, as it is now, it needs to be numeric, so I'm going to call that my like it 2 as numeric. Alright, so now I have numbers going from 1 till 4, and uh, I'm going to determine the one sample sign test. For that, I need a hypothesized median, so the median that I expect there to be in the population. In this case, I'm going to set that to 2.5. So control enter, so that's my hypothesized median. Then we need to determine how many of cases are below this hypothesized median, and that's going to be group 1, and group 2 is actually uh, for those above it. So then that's going to be that my liker 2, and then specifically the ones that are below the hypothesized median, and the second group for the ones above it. So I'm going to load those two, control enter, control enter. And I'm actually only interested in how many there are. I can actually see that from here as well, that there are 299 and here are 655. And I'm going to store that under uh, N for count 1 and N for 2. With length, you're actually doing a count. And as you can see in my overview here, indeed, that's now 299 and 655. I also need to know the uh, minimum of those two, that makes life a bit easy, so I'm going to call that my min and simply use the min function for that. So the minimum of these two is of course 299. And I need the total because uh, some of them were actually uh, removed earlier because of the missing value, so uh, and those that are actually matching the hypothesized median will also be removed. Now in this case there aren't any, but there might be, so just in case, n1 plus n2. And then finally I can use the binomial distribution actually to test. And uh, what I'm going to do is the my minimum, I'm going to use the cumulative version. Uh, the number of trials is of course that n. 0.5 is the probability of success for each trial, and because I want it two-sided, I'll simply multiply this by 2. Finally, I get my result to be, as you can see here, extremely low, so the chances of the median being um, 2.5 in the population are going to be very low. Now, it's not exactly this chance, and that's a different one, but in general, people would now say that the there are significant uh, significant evidence to reject the claim that the, high, uh, that the median in the population will be 2.5. Now you can do all of this also a little bit faster if you're willing to install some kind of package. I'll show you three of them. I already installed them myself, so I don't need to install them, just need to load them. So the second line I'll be using. And then uh, remember that R is case sensitive, so sign in all capitals. Then the Likert data uh, as numeric and the median, and you get quite some information out here, but scrolling a bit back up, as you can see here is a similar result, and in this case the alternative hypothesis is true, the true median is not equal to 2.5. You can also use the desk tools, again I already installed this myself, so I don't need to run this line of code, 
uh, I only need to load the package now, test tools, and then sign test with S and T in capital, my liker 2. Now use mu equals 2.5, and you will get a similar result. Again, the p value less than 2.2 uh, uh, divided over 10 to the power of 16, so extremely low. You can also use the sign median test package, which is specifically designed for this. Uh, I'll simply load the package and hopefully when I run it, it will actually give me again the same result. Now one more time for good measure, a uh, second example, now I'm just using some CSV data. So load that one in. Uh, I'm going to set my hypothesized median at 10. And uh, I'm simply going to create the two groups again. Control enter, control enter, control enter, control enter. And again, the minimum, add the two up. In this case, actually, uh, two, of, uh, two of them, if we look here, there were 26 observations, but actually two of them will meet the 10. So the number, total number of cases that I'm actually using is 24. And the significance here is 0 0.06. So in this case, that's above 0 0.05, so not significant. And then I can do the same things with the packages. Um, remember here, though, to actually select which variable you want. And here we go. This should give me the same result. Let's have a look. Yes, there it is, 0 0.06. Also, the desk tool package. There it is, the 0 0.06. And last but not least, the sign mean. Uh, I actually end heard some additional information there just in case. Be careful though that here it's mu and here as well and here it's md so that changes a few things. Control enter and that gives the same result. So there you have it. A few different ways you can actually perform a one sample sign test with SPSS. Remember though that uh, the Will Coxon test is usually more preferred. If you want to learn more about it please visit my website uh, https double dot slash slash uh, peter sti uh, peterstatistics.com uh, if you have any questions let me know in the comments below hope this video was helpful uh, if you want to help out please uh, subscribe or uh, like uh, thank you for that in advance all right bye